Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Terranigma! Let's see how people are enjoying the food here. <laughs> oh, okay, so she's going to escort him for a while, huh? Well, see how many... What are these people eating anyway? There's nothing on the table here. Draw it! Ha <laughs> ha! Serves you right for eating that many burgers. Um, oh, let's get a smile. Not much of a smile, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, let's get a burger. And some fries. And some cola. Sure. Sounds like a plan. What, they're gonna actually serve me at the table? That's not how McBurger works. Alright, it's gotta be better than, you know, that wine we were having earlier in the game. Alright, that was a pretty good meal there. Well, not really a meal, but yeah. I don't know what that guy was talking about, asking for a smile. Oh, well, you're welcome. Okay, now that's everything we can do in the town here, I think. So, let's see. Yeah, let's explore some of the expanded parts of the town. This is the last bit of exploration in the game, and I am going to draw it out as much as I can, or milk it for whatever I can get. I still don't know what that thing he's building is there. Ah. But yeah, this is where all the farmland went since Near Lake became a city. I agree. I like the sun and the fresh air and everything. I, I just like working outside with people and everything like that. Well, well, I suppose so. Yeah, why not? Oh. It's sad that you can't live without produce? I can. Okay, well, I just figured I'd show you this nice little area. Just little details that they add to the game that give the game more flavor. Now, anyway, before we can expand the final town in the game, we gotta go to Will's house. It was relocated all the way over here. So... Oh. Yeah, yeah, we already talked to her about that. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, you got a favor, huh? Sure, let's help you out. Hmm. Was there a town who was saying that they were having trouble getting people over to their town for tourists? I thought there was one, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, we'll be heading over there next. Uh, one other thing I want to do. I think I forgot to do this earlier. I need to share the photos... Uh, that I got in the game with freedom because I was just practicing this a moment ago off screen obviously and I couldn't get the town to expand without it so I'm gonna share the photos at F freedom and then I'll meet you at the next town that I'm gonna go to all right we've made it over to Australia and Suncoast the final town to expand now I've done almost everything that you need to do to get it to expand I've shared the photos I've uh, shared that tasty meat I think we got from the guy earlier with uh, Stoma earlier. And we're in chapter four now, but there's one more thing that we gotta do in order to expand the town. We have to give them the airfield plans in order to actually get people to come here from the other tourist areas and everything like that. Well, we've gotta land somewhere unless you want them to land in your house. No, that would be a bad idea. Yeah, absolutely. Can I have your mantra rack? All right. Oh, no, no, I guess not. Maybe that's not until later. We're doing pretty good on our mantra rack collection. I'll be able to get, well, hopefully most of them in this episode. Uh, most of the rest of them, that is. Maybe it will. Who knows? Okay, well, that's everything that I need to do here. So let's get out of here and, uh... I guess just go to another area or something and hope that it makes the town expand. Let's see. Let's try Air's Rack. See if that works. I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll find out. No. No, it didn't. Maybe I gotta go to, like, New Zealand or something. Sorry for wasting your time like this, viewers, but I just want to do this on screen so that way you know, hey, this is what worked for me. Because somehow, or sometimes... It seems that, you know, going to another region seems to help time pass to allow the town to expand. 
All right, there it is. We got it. So now we got an airfield that we can use to go anywhere. Oh, there's a little house over here. I don't recall seeing this. Oh, this is where uh, that other part was moved to. Okay. I forgot about this part. Okay, well, let's check out Suncoast. Expanded. Suncoast, unlike other cities in the game, only has one expansion. So, this is it. Huh? Dude! You don't need to share that with me. Wow. I don't think any of the people outside really have that much interesting to say, so we'll just check out the inn that they got here. Hey, how's it going? Uh, don't know what they eat in Australia, I'll be honest with you. Now, if you talk to this lady... Oh, no! Her, uh... Uh, groom, or fiancé, or husband, whatever, has a fever. Remember way earlier in the game we got this fever medicine from Litz? Well, let's give it to her then. I thought you needed to do this in order to expand Litz for some reason, but apparently not. It's un unlike the other items that we get from every other town, you don't have to give this one away in order to expand the town in which you got it from. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. Alright, we get a medal. We get the water pin, as well as six Majoraks from it. I should have, uh, how many should I have now? I should have 94, I think. Let's check it out. Yeah, 94 Majorax. We're doing pretty good there. All right. So let's see how long it takes her husband to recover. Two seconds. Yay! Well, there you go. Glad I could help. But yeah, yeah, that's basically the reward for giving them the fever medicine. You can even get more fever medicine, I think, now if you go back to Litz. Uh, not that you can use it, so I don't know why they give it to you again, but it's there. I don't know, maybe it's just to prevent you from accidentally throwing it away, but usually they, uh, they have safeguards on that sort of thing. Eh. Hey, how's it going? Alright. Well, this is sort of a resort, isn't it? Whoa! What a jerk. Okay, well now that we've expanded the town in the Sun Coast, they got some new items here, just like the other towns. I'm guessing you sell the weapons with the eye patch. Yeah. Let's see, the Alpha Rod! The only place in the game that you can get one of these, to my knowledge, so let's check that one out. It's the fourth special weapon in the game, so there you are. I think that's all the equipment I can get in the game. Yeah, it decreases your strength to increase your luck. I think it's by 15, or maybe I'm thinking of some other piece of equipment, or whatever. But yeah, it's, a, it's totally not worth it, because of the strength multiplied by your level calculation. And the increase in luck does not, in it doesn't allow you to like crit every time. And even if it did, it wouldn't be worth it because of the decrease in strength. So don't worry about it. Apparently they still like their koalas here. Let's see, don't need to go to the tourism center anymore. Whoa, it's a lot of seafood, lady. see what they got going on here. Oh, yeah, this is Kynes. This is where, this is the mayor's house that we were at earlier. Well, I guess the world is going somewhere where you don't know where it's going now, Kynes. The entire world. Hey, hey, all right, that Majorac's off the shelf now. Can I have it? Hey, hey, all right, Majorac number 95. One more, one more. Well, then just don't live right next to the airport. Well, I suppose they have an airport where I live, but, you know, I'm not that close to it. They got a lot of airports around here, or where I live. Eh. Oh, okay, well, maybe I should check out the zoo there. Oh, no! We gotta free all the animals there. But will I ever run out of side quests to do in this game? Find out next time on Let's Play Terranigma! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.